Welcome to the Bible Quiz. Today, get ready for an exhilarating journey into the depths of the New Testament. We've meticulously selected 15 challenging questions to test your knowledge and understanding of the Holy Scriptures. But before we dive into the quiz, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Your support enables us to spread the message of God's Word far and wide. Once you've completed the quiz, share your results with us in the comments below. We're excited to hear about your experience and be a part of your exploration of the Bible. So, are you eager to embark on this thrilling adventure through the New Testament? Let's get started. Question 1. To which king did Pilate send Jesus before his crucifixion? A. Herod B. Caesar C. Agrippa D. Caiaphas You get 10 seconds. That's A. Herod. Pilate sent Jesus to King Herod before his crucifixion as recorded in Luke chapter 23, verses 7 to 12. King Herod was curious to see Jesus, hoping to witness a miracle, but Jesus remained silent before him. Question 2. What was torn from top to bottom when Jesus died on the cross? A. Cloak B. Fabric C. Curtain D. The veil in the temple. You get 10 seconds. That's D. The veil in the temple. When Jesus died on the cross, the curtain in the temple was torn from top to bottom, symbolizing the removal of the barrier between God and humanity. This event signified access to God for all believers through Jesus' sacrifice. Matthew chapter 27, verse 51. Question 3. What does the proverb say is as good as medicine? A. Prayer B. Cheerful heart C. Exercise D. Meditation You get 10 seconds. That's B. Cheerful heart. The proverb states that a cheerful heart is like good medicine, bringing healing and refreshment to the soul. It emphasizes the importance of joy and positivity in maintaining one's well-being. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. Question 4. What answer does Proverbs say that turns away wrath? A. Silence. B. A stern rebuke. C. A gentle word. D. Aggressive behavior. You get 10 seconds. That's C. A gentle word. A gentle answer turns away wrath. This proverb underscores the power of diplomacy and tact in diffusing anger and conflict. It advocates for responding with kindness and patience, rather than with aggression or hostility, to resolve disputes and promote harmony. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 1. Question 5. Who told the parable of the sour? A. Jesus. B. Paul. C. David D. Moses You get 10 seconds. That's D. 
That's A, Jesus. The parable of the sour originates from Jesus Christ, found in the New Testament across the books of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, chapter 8, verses 4 to 15. Through this allegory, Jesus metaphorically explains the varied responses to the gospel, likening them to seeds falling on different types of soil, highlighting the importance of receptive hearts for spiritual growth. Cherished friend, hit subscribe and stay tuned for more great and engaging content in the future. Question six, which apostle hanged himself? A. John B. Judas C. Peter D. Andrew You get 10 seconds. That's B. Judas. Judas Iscariot one of the twelve apostles of Jesus, is the one who hanged himself. His betrayal of Jesus led to immense remorse, culminating in his tragic end by suicide. This event underscores the consequences of betrayal and the complexity of human nature. Matthew chapter 27 verses 3 to 5. Question 7. Who said, The Son of Man comes to seek and to save the lost? A. Peter B. John C. Jesus D. Judas You get 10 seconds. That's C. Jesus this statement was made by Jesus Christ himself. It reflects his mission on earth, emphasizing his purpose to seek and bring salvation to the spiritually lost. This declaration demonstrates Jesus' mercy and divine purpose in reconciling humanity with God. Luke chapter 19, verse 10. Question 8. How many days was Saul unable to see after his encounter with Jesus? A. 3 B 5 C 7 D 10 You get 10 seconds. That's A 3 after Saul's encounter with Jesus on the road to Damascus, he was blinded and unable to see for three days. This period of blindness marked a significant transformation in Saul's life, leading to his conversion to Christianity and eventual mission as the Apostle Paul. Acts chapter 9, verse 9. Question 9. What crime was a woman accused of when Jesus wrote on the ground? A. Theft B. Murder C. Blasphemy D. Adultery You get 10 seconds. That's D. Adultery when Jesus wrote on the ground, a woman was brought before him, accused of adultery. This event is a profound moment illustrating Jesus' compassion and forgiveness as he challenges the crowd to reflect on their faults before condemning others. It emphasizes the importance of mercy and redemption in the face of judgment. John chapter 8, verses 3 to 11. Question 10. To whom did Jesus say, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God? A. John B. Satan C. James D. Peter You get 10 seconds.
That's B, Satan. Jesus said, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God to Satan when he tempted Jesus in the wilderness. This statement emphasizes the importance of trust and obedience to God, warning against putting God to the test. It serves as a reminder of the need to rely on God's guidance and wisdom rather than testing his power or authority. Matthew chapter 4, verse 7. Question 11. How many stars did John see in Jesus' right hand? A. 3 B. 5 C. 7 D. 9 You get 10 seconds. That's C, seven. John saw seven stars in Jesus' right hand. This vision is described in the book of Revelation, where the stars represent the angels of the seven churches. The image symbolizes Christ's authority and sovereignty over the churches, as well as his guidance and protection over them. Revelation chapter one, verse 16. Question 12. Whose wife despised him when she saw him dancing before the Lord? A. Saul B. David C. Herod D. Solomon You get 10 seconds. That's B, David. King David's wife, Michal, despised him when she saw him dancing before the Lord. This incident is recorded in 2 Samuel chapter 6, verses 16 to 23, where Michal criticizes David for his exuberant worship, leading to tension in their relationship. David's joyful expression of praise contrasts with Michal's disdain, highlighting differing attitudes toward worship and the importance of sincerity in honoring God. Question 13. Which apostle was stoned to death but rose again? A. John B. Peter C. Matthew D. Stephen You get 10 seconds. That's D, Stephen. The Apostle Stephen was stoned to death but rose again. This event is documented in the New Testament book of Acts, specifically Acts chapter 7, verses 54 to 60, where Stephen becomes the first Christian martyr. Despite his death, his unwavering faith and commitment to Christ serve as a testament to the resilience and strength of early believers amidst persecution. Question 14. Which disciple did Jesus teach, feed the lamb? A. David B. James C. Peter D. Andrew You get 10 seconds. That's C, Peter. Simon Peter received this instruction from Jesus during a conversation by the Sea of Galilee, as recounted in John chapter 21, verses 15 to 17. This poignant exchange symbolizes Peter's restoration and reaffirmation of his role as a leader among the disciples following his denial of Jesus. It underscores Jesus' message of forgiveness, redemption, and the importance of caring for his followers. Question 15. Who called John the Baptist a burning and shining light? A. Jesus B. King Herod C. 
the Pharisees. D. John the Baptist's disciples. You get 10 seconds. That's A, Jesus. This question refers to the testimony of Jesus about John the Baptist, mentioned in John chapter 5, verse 35. Jesus described John as a burning and shining lamp, emphasizing John's role as a herald of truth and righteousness. This metaphor highlights John's passionate proclamation of repentance and preparation for the coming of the Messiah as well as his impact as a spiritual guide and example for others. Wow! What an exhilarating journey through the scriptures, challenging your understanding of the New Testament. How did you do? Whether you conquered the quiz or stumbled upon new insights, remember that the Word of God is an endless reservoir of wisdom awaiting our exploration. If you found this quiz intriguing, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and share it with your loved ones. Let's invite them to join us on this captivating biblical journey. And be sure to hit that subscribe button for more quizzes and profound biblical insights. Your feedback is invaluable, so please share your score, questions, or ideas for future quizzes in the comments section below. Thank you for being a part of today's adventure, and may your spiritual journey be enriched. See you in the next video.